Hello everyone. So welcome to another video. Ito ni last uh, video natin sa not last pero somehow somewhat a last for the formal uh, topics on our subject Philippine politics and governance. So dito uh, sa last uh, discussion natin pero hindi to last ha, if you have any uh, topics na gusto natin i-cover and of course a weekly weekly naman mag uh, poproduce ako ng mga videos, discussion na uh, na patungkol pa rin sa Philippine politics and governance. Pero right now, uh, of course, lahat tayo is under quarantine, ongoing pa rin ang online classes and uh, as much as as much as possible we have to maximize this um uh, uh, medium which is the online classes para masanay tayo kasi I I think the new normal will be eto magiging new normal talaga natin ng online classes and i think uh, maganda siya at a point kasi masasanay tayo na alam naman natin ng Pilipinas is we have this uh, moments na kailangan mag uh, cut ng classes dahil sa bagyo dahil sa mga pangyayari and ngayon we have this pandemic na alam ko naman eh, mahirap din naman siya sa part ng mga estudyante and even us for teachers mahirap din talaga siya hindi siya ganun ka dali So, we have to find ways. And, ito na nga, we have to maximize this this uh, medium. So, for the, our last uh, topic for this uh, Philippine politics and governance is the local government system. So, pag-usapan natin ngayon, uh, local government and bakit sila sobrang importante in the political life or in the civic life natin mga Pilipina. So, let's talk about that. LGUs and uh, may yung aking... yung aking clone na sa taas. So, now let's proceed. So, these are the our uh, this is the flow of our discussion. So, ito, pag-usapan natin yung concept ng local government. Ano yung functions ng local government? Basic approaches in local governance. Uh, the Philippine local government system, the structure, composition, and the powers of local government units, and of course, major issues in Philippine local government. So, let's start with the different concepts and approaches on local government. So, local governments. Uh, the lowest level of elected territorial organizations within a state, uh, government specific to a particular locality. In short, a local government, sila yung pin, yun na sa ibaba, nung, hindi man sa pinakababa ng food chain, pero doon sa structure ng gobyerno mula sa pinakamataas, which is the national government, ito yung executive, legislative, and judiciary, si local government is yun na sa ibaba. And the focus of local government is, of course, to serve yung mga areas kung saan sila nakabilang. So, let's say, for example, if you're from Santa Rosa, of course, you have your own local government units. Sila yung government, specifically, or government institution or body, na specifically, ang kanilang binibigyan ng focus is yung kanilang mga tao or yung sa kanilang mga resident sa mga tao na sa kanilang lugar. or sa mga tiga Kabuyaw Laguna you have Mayor Mel Gecole sa San Pedro you have the government or administration of uh, Katakis and yun na nga uh, local governments is basically naka-focus lang sila doon sa kanilang locality and they have to serve the people in their locality but but this uh, local governments or local government units they are still under the national government So, yun yung focus nila. So, ano ang function sa local government? So, one, pro- provide local and public uh, local public services such as garbage collection, health services, okay, and implement national welfare policies. So, kung makikita natin sa pandemya ngayon, di ba? Kung makikita natin, we have the national government working, pero at the same time, you have the local government uh, ini-implement nila yung mga uh, batas or yung mga programa na na inuutos din na national government. Pero apart from that, yun nga, meron sila mga kanya-kanya nilang services such as garbage collection, yung health services nila tulad ng mga public hospitals natin sa bawat bayan, yan yung trabaho ng local government. Okay. And marami pa. Sobrang daming functions ang local government. Pero in in general sense, the, 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 the functions of local government is to you know provide uh, services and of course implement laws by the national government. So, yeah. 
So, there, the, those are, meron dalawang klase na approach sa local governance. So, meron tayong tinatag na centralization. Centralization means the concentration of political power or government authority at the national level. So, in centralization, in short, ang kapangyarihan ng gobyerno is nakasentralize or the authority of the government is centralized in the national level. Si national level lang yung kikilos. Ngayon, dito papasok si decentralization and si local government and that is or si local government, which is decentralization. Decentralization means it is the transfer of planning, decision-making, or administrative authority from the central government to field organization, local governments, or non-governmental organization. So meaning, ayan, yun yun. So from a national government perspective, or very centralized yung power, ibinababa siya ngayon sa mga local governments or sa mga pinaka nasa baba. Ang dahilan ng, uh, ng konsepto ng decentralization is, of course, central governments or national governments, sobrang ang laki ng, ang laki ng focus niya, yung, mis, di ba, yung focus niya is pangkalahatan. And minsan, nakakalimutan niya yung, or hindi niya na-address yung problema na mga nasa iba ba. Kaya nga, nagkaroon ng konsepto ng decentralization. So, yan. So, variants of decentralization. Pero ang decentralization, iba-iba yan. Okay? Meron tayong tinatawag na deconcentration. Ang um, deconcentration is basically redistribution of administrative responsibilities only within the central government. Meron din naman tayong tinatawag na delegation. Delegation means decision-making and management authority for specific functions is delegated to organization not under the direct control of a central government. Then meron naman tayong tinatawag na devolution. Uh, this is decentralization where in central government relinquishes certain functions or create new uh, units of government that are outside of its control. And then you have privatization. So privatization means transfer of functions from government to non-governmental organizations. Dito nyo may kita yung private and public partnership na privatization. So dun nyo may kita yung uh, decentralization. Yung mula sa gobyerno, ipinapasa nila sa private institution para mag-provide ng services sa atin. So how about uh, sa ating local government? So sa ating local government is ano yung ginagamit natin? Is of course you have uh, pinagsama-sama natin devolution, delegation, and deconcentration. Kasi mula sa, yun nga, mula sa gobyerno, mula sa pinaka-central government, na ipapasa siya ngayon sa local government system natin. Alright. So, let's proceed to, uh, let's proceed to the Philippine local government system. So, ang local government system natin, ayan, yung structure natin. Ngayon, ano yung structure natin? Tanggalin natin yung picture ko. So, of course, the national government, yun nasa itaas. Ang national government natin, of, of course, the executive, legislative, and the judiciary branch. So, kung pag-uusapan natin yung executory body, syempre, yun yung executive branch. Ang um, LGUs is also an executive body kasi sila yung nagpapasa or sila yung nag implement ngayon ng batas na ginawa ng national government. So, you have the national government baba sa provinces, you have the provincial government, and you have the highly urbanized cities. Ang highly urbanized cities natin is yung mga, yung, yung mga nasa NCR, ha? Yung mga Montedupa, ayan. So, you have provinces. In the provinces, meron tayong mga municipalities and component cities. In the case of Laguna, ayan, sa atin sa Laguna, ang municipalities natin is yung Bae, Okay, yung mga Paete, Paet, Laguna, those are municipalities. Component cities is you have San Pedro, Santa Rosa, Cabuyao, Binyan, San Pablo. Those are component cities. And under those uh, governments na yun is you have the barangay government. And in the highly urbanized cities, ganun din you have barangays. So, ano yung difference nila? Uh, dito natin may kita yan sa susunod na, sorry, nawala. So, yan, susunod na slide. So, ano yung difference ng mga yon? So, usually, basically, ang ating provinces, siya yung uh, malaking gobyerno, pero naka, ano siya, divide siya per province. Ngayon, si provinces, meron siya mas mabababa dyan sa loob, which is the municipal and city governments. And then, you have barangays. Highly urbanized cities, tulad ng Montilupa and other cities in NCR, you have highly urbanized cities, then meron din sila mga barangay under. So, yan yung structure natin. 
So, ano yung requirements for creation of local government units? Kasi pwedeng, pwedeng maiangat eh. Pwedeng maiangat ang isang uh, ang isang locality or isang LGU from a municipality to a, a higher uh, uh, variant or higher uh, entity ng local government, LGU or local government. So, ang LGUs natin, you have province, highly urbanized cities, component cities, municipalities, and barangay. Minimum income per year dapat supposedly is in provinces, 20 million. In highly urbanized cities, you have 50 million pesos. In component cities, uh, 20 million pesos. In municipalities, uh, 2.5 million pesos. Okay? Ang minimum income yan ha, per year. And then you have barangay, none. Hindi kailangan. And when it comes to population, ang provinces is 250,000 minimum. Uh, highly urbanized cities is 200,000. Component cities is 150,000. And municipalities is 25,000 population. Uh, in barangays, in Metro Manila, para maging barangay ka, you have to have uh, 5,000. And then for others, or outside Metro Manila, you have to have uh, 2,000 uh, residents or population in your area. Pagdating sa land area naman, in barangay, wala, walang, walang nakalagay. Uh, pero when it comes to province, 2,000 uh, square kilometer. Sa highly urbanized cities, is hindi rin siya naka-indicate kung gaano kalaki. Uh, component cities must at least have a 100,000 or 100 square kilometer in size. And you have uh, municipalities, 50 square kilometer. So, yan. Um, pwede ba tayong gumawa ng mga local government units uh, from a uh, municipality, i-upgrade natin siya to component city or from a uh, component city or province, gawin natin siyang highly urbanized city. So, pwede siya. Pero as long as nasusunod tong requirements sa to. And pwede natin gawin example is yung mga cities in Laguna kasi we are residing in Laguna. Ako, specifically, I'm from Laguna. Ang San Pedro City before was a municipality. And then eventually, uh, nag-apply uh, sila for uh, city status, then naibigay sa kanila yon. And there was a plan pa nga before na si San Pedro is dapat maging part ng Metro Manila. However, those plans were, well, hindi siya nag-transpire into reality. So, ayan, yan na yung mga uh, informations natin. Or information natin. So, next video natin is let's talk about leadership of the Philippine local government units.